hello what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Emmanuel as seen we will learn how to turn a python file into an executable so it doesn't matter what your operating system you are using we're going to make that happen in this video before we step into the video make sure you smash the like button click the subscribe button and pop the notification bell you do not want to miss my next epic video now let's get straight into today's video welcome back guys so as you can see that i've created a folder here and i put a bunch of files here so i'm going to show you what this does um right here this is buttons this is what we're going to be using to practice so this is something okay let me remove this okay so, so this is something i created in one of my videos the taking that series intro so i'm going to be using this to show you how to make this work now if i run this control b so this is what this is okay and this is what this is now we're going to be making use of what we call py installer to make this work now the first thing we're going to want to do you want to do first is you're going to come to the folder you're in so you're going to right click now if you're on linux or mac you should see open the terminal if you're on windows and, but if you're not in, using this current windows you might not see open windows in windows terminal so what you want to do in this case for windows users is come here and just type cmd okay so for mac and linux users just click right click and open in cmd or terminal so once you click enter it should open a terminal for you but in this case it's cmd um, the command prompt all right so you first want to just do pip install py installer now i have this installed already so if this doesn't work for you you should try pip3 so just add three here and then it should work and if that doesn't work so i'm gonna i think that's an issue from your installation of the python software so you just come down here and then just try launching this so when you open this now okay oh my goodness um so when you want to install next no i don't want to install you should see i was opening to show that but it didn't show it so you should see something like add to parts when you click on install and make sure you it is selected okay so you have to install python then and make sure it's added to parts so you can be able to install using this method now if you have it as you can see so i have this already now the next thing for us to do is we're gonna okay so since this is we are in the same folder as you can see test which i have my files now to do it all you have to just do py installer and then the name of the file you want to okay let's check okay so we want to change event handling so we're going to put it there event handling that's fire so once we press enter this should do the trick but note doing this um you're gonna see why i'm not gonna recommend you just do this straight well it depends on what you want anyway so i'm gonna see i'm, I'm just gonna skip this part if it takes a while okay it is done so as i told you i wouldn't recommend you do this and well i'm gonna show you the reason why so now when you run it you see some f f um, folders are dead some files or, and folders are dead you see this this and build okay now you well the one you need is just this this folder you can delete the rest so just click on it and then open this then you should see your application in here okay let's look for event okay this is it event and lane application so when you run this you should run your app but if you use this method it see it's gonna run the terminal and then your app so that's why i said i wouldn't recommend this method so what you do is add what you, this okay so i'm gonna move this up then we're gonna add what you call windows we're gonna run this and then this is why i recommend w or you can just put windowed but the short form is w so i'm just, I'm just gonna use w and for that w is just, it's just gonna make sure your terminal doesn't run when you run the app and then we're also going to add and that's in code one file so instead of you having a folder okay it's going to just give you just a file which you can run so i'm going to delete this okay this and build so let's delete that all right good to go so let's run this again i'm just going to skip if it takes long all right so subscribe so fast anyway so we're going to come back to our disk of course this is still the same now you see we have just a file so we all you have to do is just run this file and you should run your app okay it's not going to launch the terminal anymore so as you can see we have this so, so this is the reason why we have a file is because we use dot one file remember this 
and the reason why it's not showing our timeline anymore is because of this the wind this window yeah all right so you should know that now next i'm going to show you we ju just showing you how to bundle your app and access executable into a file or a folder now in order in the case whereby you have a picture okay so i'm going to show you an example so in this case buttons if if you try creating an execute executable for this it's man it's not going to work because this actually has a picture in it okay and it won't work so if you try it, it's not going to work but i'm going to show you how to fix that so what you're going to do is you're going to we're going to run it anyway so you're going to try it just to show you that buttons the pie yeah buttons just wanted to make sure i got the name right no 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 i just want a file one file on this okay all right so it's done and we're gonna come here and then um, so it should be in the dist so as you can see oh all right i didn't delete the folder before oh my okay so it doesn't affect it anyway so we still have our buttons here so if i run this we're gonna get an error um, okay as you can see it says what's the what's the png not there okay so what we can do is come here and then you can drag it out just make sure both the file and the image are in the same directory so what i'll just do instead is just come here Control c come here i'm just so sorry wrong one wrong file i was going to copy this instead we're gonna just want to make sure they are both in the same directory okay so your buttons and your image are in the same directory now if i run it it should work now so fingers crossed of course it's gonna work so this is it we have it working so that's how i did with multiple files so in case you have a folder with your images just make sure you put it in the same directory with the folder and it's gonna work fine so that is how you turn your python file into an executable but note py installer is not a cross path cross um compiler so if you compile your app in windows it won't work on a mac or a linux so you, if you want to create an app a compiler um an executable for a mac you have to do it on a mac you want to create an executable for windows you have to do it on a windows pc and if you want to create an executable for a linux system you have to do it on a linux pc instead all right guys i just stopped the video and i discovered there was one more thing left for me i wanted to discuss so we're going to search for nsis so you have to install this on google just search for nsis or you can search for this non sub subscriptable install system so what this helps you do is just make your app an installer so you can just send installer to the person without having to have them install python so we're gonna just first of first thing we have to do is change okay so let's change this to a zip file let's compress our file to a zip file first our folder to a zip file so let's leave it as this and i'm gonna come to this app and do install based on zip file so we're gonna click on that we're gonna open so we're gonna choose this of course we're gonna give it a more descriptive name you can change it here if you want so you don't need to worry about any other configuration just leave it at its default and then we're going to generate so when generate shouldn't take time and done okay so you can test that if you want so that is finally you that that is it basically so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it then you should give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to them out on my next epic content guys much love guys peace out